Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how I harvest miscanthus grass for um, fall crafts. Instead of just letting it kind of eventually fall over, once it blooms, it gets these be beautiful plumes at the top, and there's different kinds. Um, I go down to the bottom and I cut, I trace it down, particularly, you know, the, the larger stalks. I trace it all the way down to the ground and I cut it right at the ground. You can leave, you can leave about six inches if you're worried about killing it off. I've never had a problem with that. And then you just run your hands over top of the barrel right down it and take off the leaves. Underneath all those leaves, you're gonna find bamboo-like grass. Uh, Miscanthus kind of resembles a thin bamboo. Do you recommend wearing either an apron or jeans or long sleeves? I don't have long sleeves on, I'm gonna regret this later. Um, we call it death by a thousand paper cuts because just like if you ever ran through corn stalks as a kid and played hide and go seek, they cut you. So the scanthus grass is just as sharp, the leaves, and they'll get you. So it's a good idea. It's a little hot today for me to put on um, sleeves. So I just put on a real thick apron as to not getting my legs. a little thick in here so it's hard to show you I'm just making straight cuts at the bottom you will find that they're gonna want to start to bend on you because they've already been bending and we'll I'll show you how to how to fix that so that they dry straight Try best to lay them flat and not try to stand them up initially while you're harvesting. Is. Okay, so you just take your rubber band after you turn it upside down and you slide it over the bottom. If one comes out, just put it right through. You can actually bring the plume up later if it's a shorter one towards the top which is what I would recommend. And then just walk your rubber band. Up to the top, depending on what you're going to use it for. You may want to let it kind of fan out a bit more if you're going to use it in a floral arrangement and maybe not go so tight. Although when you release them, they're still going to release and be nice. So I tend to really like mine to be very straight. I just got these rubber bands at Dollar General the other day. You don't need fancy rubber bands, just regular every day in the office supply area of um, Dollar General. Double it up. If this, at this point you want to cut them even, that's probably a going to make it a lot easier for you. I just tend to do it at the end because I don't like being disappointed if I have a really good read if I make it too short. So I tend to do it when I'm satisfied with the, the length that I have. And you see it's starting to band together really nice. All right, everybody's seen these bamboo poles for staking. You get them at any of the big box stores for staking plants. Um, just take one of these 
if you want them really straight I mean it's not necessary it's just depending on what you want to do with them later and again I just tend to like them really straight because you can use these to flank the sides of the doorway um, for a really cool fall look as opposed to corn stalks which you probably don't want to bring in the house because of bugs and things like that and this is something you could use in the house on either side of your doorway it makes a really cool look and you just kind of run them up and through all of your rubber bands you just need one whole purple bunch and as long as you've placed your placed your rubber bands where they should be it's going to straighten out the pole and since I have a lot of length down here I'm probably going to cut this off and then put a final rubber band at the bottom. So just cut it off even using your snippers. Don't worry, they don't all have to be exactly the same length. There's gonna be some shorter ones in there. Run your pole up to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna put a final rubber band at the bottom. These are sold in packs of 100. So you get a lot of bands in one little pack and it was not very expensive. I always have try to keep rubber bands around for all kinds of things. And that's it. Now you have a really straight pole. And you can kind of move it And then I just have, I have a large, um, the old milk jugs and I just stand them up in there in the house. And once they're dry, they don't tend to lose their seed packets. Uh, they kind of hold on to them. Everybody's seen it outside, even in the wind, even they'll hold on to them but to assure that they're not making a mess falling off because they do, they're kind of what's adding to the fall look. I spray them with hairspray after they're dry. And you'll know when they're completely dry because they won't be green anymore. They will turn yellow just like they do outside in, in your garden. So that's it. You can put as many of them as you want together and I will show you um, what they look like when they're fairly dry after two weeks. Okay, so here you'll see this, the difference between one I've dried for two weeks and you see it's really straight. I don't have a bamboo pole on it anymore you don't you don't really have to have it i just it's only if you want to mulch or straight it's just it just works out really great so this one has been dry for two weeks and you can see it's starting to turn yellow but it's not completely dry but it's significantly drier than the one i just did for you and then i just stand them up in one of my milk jugs or any tall vase will do you probably could lay them flat they just I think get more airflow around them if you dry them standing up so I tend to dry them standing up uh, if you had a tall barn you could dry them upside down another thing is if you prefer not to thin out your grasses say they're at the front of the house but you'd like to do this you could just gather a bunch here and there shorter without taking the whole grass stem and just do a short version of it for a vase for the fall time. Put some dry flowers around it uh, that are more seasonal. And then you still have all your standing grass. This is just the very top. 
I only took it from maybe about my chin level up. Ours get really tall, it depends how tall your miscanthus is. We have the very tall kind. And so now you have all this great dried material to work with for freight. And it's gonna cut down all of your, your cutting later into either the fall or spring. Whenever you cut yours down, they're all gonna be, they're gonna be thinned out a little bit more, a lot less matter to take away. And then the leaves you can put in your compost pile. So I think it's win-win uh, if you like this look. I, I just absolutely love fall and it's, I guess it's August uh, 18th and I'm like, I can't wait um, for the temperatures to break. It's like a sauna out here today. So I'm looking forward to a little bit of cooler temps and not melting every time I come out. But uh, yeah, so hopefully this gave you some tips and what to do with all that miscanthus grass that you have in your yard. Thank you for watching and have a great day.